because I was sitting way back there. And I said, Marv been writing notes. See, people didn't know. Yeah, Marv, Marv was prepared. Marv had a book where yeah, he was going to ask questions. <laughs> yeah. But I had told Charleston ahead of time, bro, outside, don't get on here and the people you met through me talking about fucking them in front of my face. I okay. told him that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. It's your bond, and this go for uh, uh, say cheese, Vlad TV. A lot of them don't want you on there because they don't want the truth to come out because of the saturation of a lot of misconceptions, and it'll change the flow of the game. So uh, all of them need to be held accountable. Uh, you know, we hear people slander people, we hear people talk, we hear people doing this. Let's bring and see what we really bring to the table, to where uh, we don't need to hit out your mouth. Uh, we need to see what you bring into the table when the camera's not around. Yeah, I heard you say something. I heard you say. I you was just the, about go what? ahead. You go, go ahead. I, I, I'm gonna let you. I go. was just about to say um, when you're talking about you know the different shows and everything. Y'all were on um, Adam. Show. Oh yeah, Adam Twenty Two. Adam Twenty Two. No jumper. No jumper. Shout out, no jumper. And I heard you say because we were watching. I am like. He said, no, good E. <laughs> and I'm like, what why you he mean me out? That? I don't know why he called me out. That was you, Melvin. Oh, yeah. you, Melvin. Yes, you did. You yes. said, no, good E. You said, no, no good E. Oh, oh, if I did say that, I don't mean it like, no, good E. So the first thing, instead of E coming to me, he going to be with his non-good ass, going to go and ask Charleston the question first. <laughs> and it probably was in the tone or something like, if he didn't listen to me, when I, when I said it come to me, yo, this wouldn't have happened. But no, I don't look at no, no uh, interview so or nothing. It'll be like you doing a robbery and then blaming the DA that's prosecuting you <laughs> for him prosecuting you when you ask. I don't mean, I knew about it. Two or three people called me about it. Man, I thought you and Melvin was well, friends. Yeah, it's cool. I, so let's I just talked to him. I said, I didn't talk to him. No, that wasn't made like man. no good. No. <laughs> that, 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 that was, you, what was the conversation. You didn't hear Big D. Big man, D just said it. It, it, was, it, it, it. it was talking about, he was, you were talking about um, what happened on the show. Well, when I didn't come to you first. Yeah, that's what I meant, but I didn't mean like it was nothing, but I already, if they it came to me first, because I was sitting way back there. And I said, Marv been writing notes. See, people didn't know. Yeah, Marv, Marv was prepared. Marv had a book where yeah, he was going to ask that book. questions. <laughs> yeah. But I had told Charleston ahead of time, bro, outside, don't get on here. And the people you met through me talking about fucking them in front of my face. I okay. told him that. So he going to come with that king shit or third island shit. And that's how that went. But I didn't even want to go on the show. You called me up there. Yeah, and I said, I wanted you to be on the show with me. That way I could have said, Charleston, uh, uh, Marv got this here. These are just questions and answers. Y'all can talk, but it ain't going to be no disrespect. None of that. Let's yeah. just talk. And that would have set the ground rule. But you didn't come to no, me No, I first. didn't come to you first. You went I, to him, and that's how and, that shit but, went. But you know the thing about it is, like I said, when we first started, I didn't see that coming with when I, t I told him went over there and talked to him and they said them few words. It's on camera because I put it out. Yeah, but I mean, we, it wasn't I said a few words. Everybody was introduced. I didn't know, dude. No, yeah, that's what it was. And, 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 never you said, and I said, I never, oh, and you okay. said, oh, I thought y'all yeah, and, and, yeah. and then I went over and I said, hey, how you doing, bro? He, he like, yeah. And he says, well, what is it about? I said, I just want to holler at you about what you said about Montreal. Whatever you and uh, Mob James had, Compton has a certain feeling about, he said, we'll talk about it later, bro. And that's when he sat down and he went on his rant. See, I didn't interview, introduce Marv to his so-called wife because I know that wasn't his wife. Huh? Who did you that think it was? That ain't his wife that was back there in the back. That's not his wife. Then, so who, is my, his, then who is his wife? Probably the police. That's why he got to walk That That's not his wife. His wife was white. Had no, that wasn't his wife. Right, that wasn't his, his wife. No, the white woman wasn't his wife. Right, but that the lady there. Woman, that, right. That's his wife now. Yeah, that's, that's his wife kids. now. No, because you're talking the, about um, the you, prostitute. <laughs> I don't, I don't, know, know, I don't she know about was a that. Prostitute the, I, I, know, I don't know, I know about definitely that. Definitely, she was a prostitute, and uh, the dude that he was supposed to be pimping uh, took her and dropped it. What he talking about? All this. He need to go get a DNA test on them kids because they're not his. So that's 
what he come to. He was a dope dealer. He got robbed. He was a pimp, and they took his hoe, and she left the two kids on the doorstep. Then he got this lady here, and that's who's taking care of yeah, him. But once again, kids. I'm going to speak for myself. I know Charleston since 2018. I don't know every girl he don't had, every kid, him, Joe Blow, the stop six, and that is not the woman that I met all the way up to prior. That ain't the woman he introduced to me prior to seeing her that first day. So I was skeptical when he said, oh, this is my wife. Mm -hmm. Is this your wife? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.